Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley. Lee always has the heart of a champion, no matter what. Michael, we have seen that Wes always fights through adversity and faces any problems head on. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. Such a story, career for Savage, a world champion, multiple WrestleMania main events. But now he is our devoted ruler, and it is good to be the Macho King. subjects in the WWE Universe. And these peasants don't deserve it. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Are you guys ready? And from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 233 pounds, Sue Rick you are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. See many 300 pounders move like Ivar does. Thrives in the chaos of battle. A true warrior in every sense of the word. Yeah, here's the thing about Ivar. Not only does he get fired up landing blows, he gets fired up taking them too. That's because there's no holding back where there's glory to be won. underway bragging rights in the division are on the line 
highly competitive tag team division in WWE. Winning this match will go a long way in separating yourselves from the pack. Oh. Shining Wizard! That's right, Corey, that was a Shining Wizard! He's at a disadvantage. Oh, kick to the face. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Ooh, foot landing directly on the face. Pop up into the kick. Very nice. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Placing them into the corner. Fighting back with a counter. West did his homework. Boom! Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. And the momentum's clearly against West now. Can West recover from this adversity? Goes down low with the drop kick. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! And a series of vicious stomps. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. A oh, barbaric amount of stomps. The stomp in every single part of his body. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stomp someone like that. with the reversal. He went right into that turnbuckle. Ow! Precision straight to the back of the neck. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Fist connects. Knees to the gut repeatedly. Head butt to the back of the neck. Tag is registered. There's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. He's on his heels a bit now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. That'll hurt DDT. Vicious right forearm. Setting up. Put into the corner now. Uh-oh. Come on, let's go. And he denies Ivar. Jonah! Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. He's returning fire. He steers clear of contact. Right hook. Stiff elbow will break that up. My goodness, look at this. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Tim from the middle rope. A well-timed dodge. And he sends him into the corner. Uh, Nowhere to go. Kicks. Loading with kicks. Practically never-ending blows. Coming out of full force here. He can end it here. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Unable to counter. And on that 
exchange. It looked like Ivar lost some focus. Wes looked special right there. That's a Canadian destroyer. Wow. That's gotta be it. Two. He kicks out at two. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Blast off. Diving Hurricane Rana. Whoa. Gets the tag. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. Boom! Macho King feeding off the crowd, feeding off their energy. Lights out. DDT connects. And it's a long way down from there. Opponent perched on the top rope and. Looks like they're about to join them. This could be a hazardous situation here. Has their opponent scooped up? Avalanche slam! Macho is out of it, completely in peril. Ivar set up. Samoa driver. This spells doom for Randy. Shoulders down. And he stops the count for his partner. Macho moves out of the way. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Oh, my goodness. Elbow drop. Piercing. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? This is what you call high risk, high reward. Look at the high frog splash. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. A duo that has showcased the very best in tag team wrestling tonight. Looking to be another one for the highlight reel.
comes the giant killer, Rey Mysterio Jr. And our opponents, first from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio Jr. Rey Mysterio fights for his family every day and even brought his newborn son, Dominic, backstage. And then left him in a crib in the locker room all day. Little Dom might get used to those bars. Here's a man who's already taken part in some all-time classics, and hopefully there are many more to come. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. And accompanied by Giovanni Vinci, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Kaiser! Imperium is steadfast in their belief that the ring is sacred, that it must be protected from those who are true wrestlers. They harshly judge anyone who would claim to be as good as them, and their noses couldn't be any higher in the air. Well, maybe some superstars deserve to be looked down on. Maybe not everyone is as good as Imperium. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a superiority complex there, Corey. And then there's whatever Imperium has going on. as a military unit. Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. and loaded for this tag team matchup. Ready for battle, as it'll be Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. But well, they will be facing some fierce tag team action with Rey Mysterio Jr. and Ludwig Kaiser. Quick tags and staying fresh are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has the better teamwork to stick to that strategy? What reflexes to stop Sokoa? Oh, oh man, kick right to the body. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh! No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Into the corner now. Tagging his partner in now. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Big impact off the leg drop. Delivering nasty stops. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Oh, across the top rope. Nasty right hand. Vicious in Zaguri. Shot, but the back elbows ends that. And oh right. my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Samoan drop. Tag made. Yes, tag. 
tag. There's a wheelbarrow. Boom, DDT. He saw it coming, taking advantage. There's the arm ringer, followed by the leg cover. Kick out at one. Fighting hard to stay in this match. in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon.
Yeah! Let's get the party started! The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. Enemies of Blair, beware. Yeah, she says she's cold, collected, and coming to dominate WWE. And their opponents, first, from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness. Exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. herself the scourge and she is ready to deliver punishment look Blair Davenport is as brash and as mean as they come will do anything to get the upper hand and ensure victory We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece. Both on the ramp and in the ring. placed an enormous sense of pressure on herself to succeed. Well, that's because she expects the best of herself and refuses to accept failure. <laughs> Zia Lee brings such a dramatic intensity to the ring. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page, but in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sentence. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. She catches Katana with a counter. Oh, no other lights! Tagged in. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Neckbreaker. And into the count. And she's not done. 
one yet. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Oh my gosh! Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ah, shot to the back. Ow, foot, meat, back. Zaya gets her back. And she's stunned in the corner. Shoulder block. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, did we just see a tooth fly out? Oh, just turn that around. Using their boot. Boot right in the jaw. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. So she tags in. Beautiful elbows. And a spinning back kick, too. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. To the cup and dropping a hair too. Oh man, by the hair. Hair whip. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Looking wobbly in the corner. Made her pay for her mistake. Finds a counter for Lee. Series of reversals. Shining wizard! Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And chance looking evasive. It takes a certain level of athleticism. To... Here's the cover. And she kicks out at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. And a tag there. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Zaya gets her back. Meet face. We'll call the recovery again. Coming to the rescue. Drop kick to the knee. That's great strategy. This is a unique application of a hammer lock. Breaker. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Able to tag her partner. And a nice takedown. Uh oh. Able to reverse that one. Tag is made. And now tying up the leg. Straight to the knee. Uh-oh, she has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get it. Almost a miraculous escape. And a side slam. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Super pin! She covers for the pin! Kicks out. She just will not go away. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. And another. There's a tag. 
Victory roll pinning combination. Super kick to the face. Going for a power slam, steps down. Countered into an inverted DDT. Ducking out of trouble. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, I'd love to see this. Into a hammerlock flatliner. Gets tagged in. Ooh, what a forearm club. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Gotta hurt. She catches Katana with a counter. Oh, costly error there. A Hurricane Rana into a spike DDT. She gets the tag. Picks the leg of their opponent, steps through. Here we go. Rolling Deathlock. Rolling Deathlock. Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. One. Has the arm into a hammerlock cinched in. Arm breaker. There's a tag. Oof. Answer that with a stiff knee. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. And this has got to be it! Kick out. She still has life. Obviously still has some fight left. Tag made. She's in. Torture rack. No, a neck breaker. Lee is going up top. From way up, shot to the gut will break things up. Zaya gets her back. Oh, man. Kick right to the midsection. on this one. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Planet face first. It is uncanny how these women are still going. Sheer will, sheer desire to prove they belong on top of the women's division. She sent flying into the corner. Uh-oh. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Got to hurt. Oh, what a kick! Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. Impressive reversal there. And a kick. Chops down their opponent with a kick to the knee. Building up momentum into a Hurricane Rana. Spiked him. She's looking for the win. Stopping the refs count at two. She just won't stay down. Tagged into action. Back up, back up. Give Blair her space. Oh, she's just stalling. And Zagiri drops him. Whatever 
Flair had intended. Placed in the corner. Tag is made. Tandem offense on its way from the very top rope. No, even higher from their partner's shoulders. Crashing down hard with a senton. The lights are dimming for Davenport. Cover here. Oh my goodness oh, for the teammate. Just quite in time. Boom, timely counter by Lee. What a hot shot. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Uh oh. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Nice leg sweep takedown. Taking this match off the mat now. Tag is made, and here we go. Now that's a bell ringer. The end is looming now. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. To the sky. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Got a great display of strength with the suplex. Ah, oh, look at this. Airport back slam. She saw it coming. Oh, a bump in the face. Victory nearly in hand for Lee. And there's the save. Right to the leg. Partner in. <laughs> well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. <laughs> and Carter once again facing her competition's wrath. Yeah, this could get dire for Caden in a hurry. Boom! And it's a gut buster. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. Davenport with a big time move. Two count, kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. Just when you think it's the end, she stays alive. What amazing resilience. Is this the start of a comeback? You got to give a lot of credit here, withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. And the energy in here is raising the hairs on the back of my neck. Unique takedown. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. Caden saw it coming. Face buster. And now she's looking to go top rope. If this lands, it's over. And she doesn't connect. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Tag switching it up. Oh, torturous knee. Cover! Two! 
Look at this. Zaya is holding in. Tornado kick from Zaya Lee. That has Katana rocked. Victory for this tag team here tonight. The party's over and their music isn't playing. Chance and Carter just not able to get it done tonight. Gentlemen, the Million Dollar Man is living, breathing proof. Greed is good. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT UK champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted. Make no mistake, behind all of the wealth is one of the best technical wrestlers in WWE history. If he can't buy a victory tonight, the Million Dollar Man can earn it too. The Million Dollar Man is used to getting his way. And those who oppose him will pay dearly. Yeah, DiBiase just doesn't want to win. He wants to bankrupt his opponents. Thrasher is here, which means anarchy has arrived. And he's ready for a fight. And his opponent, representing the Headbangers from Camden, New Jersey, weighing in at 245 pounds. One half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Thrasher! Thrasher loves turning his opponent's world upside down. He is ready to run roughshod through any mosh pit and will stomp competitors with a smile. This is a man who has survived the ups and downs of sports entertainment, and Thrasher's here to wreck shop. Yeah, it doesn't take it easy on anyone. Thrasher truly represents the Attitude Era to its fullest. Here we go with the Million Dollar Man in the ring, a superstar who claims that everybody has a price. The Million Dollar Man has spent his career using fat stacks of cash to get his way in this industry. Well, hopefully tonight he has to really put his money where his mouth is because I think a lot of people are tired of how he seems to always get his way and avoid consequences. You might just get your wish, Byron. He's going to have to face this confrontation head on. And he's standing in the ring with headbanger Thrasher. It's not often we see him in singles action. Yeah, Corey, but that does not make him any less of a threat inside the ring. Behind his wild appearance and brawling style is a true student of the business. He scratched and clawed his whole career to reach this level. And he's not going to let anyone take that away from him. Shorten someone's career. 
In a no-disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Now that'll do some serious damage. Oh, man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Introducing a boot to the face. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. With a series of forearms. He's got his hands on a sledgehammer. Total chaos is about to be unleashed. And Thrasher moves. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Down on the ground, getting pummeled by that hammer. He foiled that attempt. Dominating cross body. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's taking some good hits. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the rest count, Cole. Things have been fraught between these competitors for weeks. We have to notice how tensions have risen even more recently. Nothing seems to be off limits at this point, and that's not a good thing. What a win for the Million Dollar Man. Here is your winner, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Rules are rules, and the referee deemed this one a count out. The referee's count is more than enough time to get back in the ring. The loser only has themselves to blame. He looks great with all that gold on him. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The WWE United States Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Logan. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. Oh, 
Adonis has arrived, and he is ready to set it off. And his opponent, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Ashanti the Adonis. I'm not going to lie, you got to love his unique style. Well, he can't relate to you, Saxon. This dude knows what it's like on the streets. He's not a character. This is reality in and out of the ring. Plenty of flashy moves in his arsenal. Yeah, Shanti's a guy who loves to flaunt his skills in the ring. And we've got Ashante the Adonis set for action. I'll tell you one thing, this young man does not struggle in the confidence department. Yeah, Ashanti is a brash, in-your-face, trash talker extraordinaire. But you can't discount what he can do in that ring. Even if his mouth sometimes writes checks, his butt can't quite cash. You're right, Byron. Ashanti is quite an impressive athlete. Hopefully he will cover. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Lining it up. Oh, right to the jaw. Going up top. Up high. Oh, got caught. Big slam. Caught with the lariat. Forearm club. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Taking off from the ropes. Now he's been put on the defensive. And I think Logan Paul just silenced any doubts with that offense. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Avoiding contact. Logan Paul's still relatively new to WWE. What do you think his strategy should be here? I think whatever he's doing has been working great so far. He's a born competitor with a legitimate background who already competes like a seasoned vet. I have zero notes for this kid except to not get too caught up in his own hype. And he retaliates on Adonis. Oh boy, gentlemen, suplex released. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh my lord, punch connects. Wow, picture perfect moonsault. Logan Paul going up top. From the top, top and down. Overwhelming offense now from Paul. Logan Paul going to work like a seasoned veteran out there. The kid just gets it. Two. It's over all in a nice work. Here is your winner, Logan Paul. Logan Paul collecting the win here and this match has already gone viral all thanks to Paul and his never ending success
And here we go. Wasting little time. The brawl's underway. So much bad blood between both these teams. Not even waiting for the bell to ring. Well, the match is starting outside the ring. A whole hell has broken loose. Finally, this match is officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high, as evidence of the way this match started. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. DDT planet. Punishing attack coming from every angle. He wasn't tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Nice clothesline. So you're going to do it big time damage to the arm. Tag. Double team coming. Face breaker. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Kick gets reversed. Tossed into the corner. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Shoulders down. No, he punched the shoulder before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Immediately powers out. He is still very much in this. Ooh, jarring European uppercut. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, on the throat in the corner. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. That's a free fall. Delivers the leg drop. Back elbow completely cuts them off. It's almost hard to believe that this epic rivalry began like any other, with jealousy and harsh words. But from that seed has blossomed an all-time blood feud. Yeah, and who could have predicted when all this began that they'd become bitter enemies, the likes of which we rarely see. Able to get the advantage here. He got whipped into that corner. Uh-oh, sets him up. Nothing Wilson can do now. Cover! And there's the save. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. 
slanted down across the back. Assaulting the knee with purpose. Uh-oh. Drop. And there's the cover. Almost ended it there. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Kane taking it to the top rope. From the top. Oh, flipping the script out in there. Steered clear of that. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. And this deep in, you gotta start wondering how much more is there to give in this match? What an incredible display of human resilience we've seen here. Oh, ouch. What a shot. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. the corner. Uh oh Prince saw that was coming. Back and forth from these competitors. Thunderous clothesline. Elton is dead to rights. All the way up and down. Joke slam. Thunderous. Kane delivering his own brand of hell makes the cover and he makes the save for his team tag is made a little tandem offense on the horizon oh and double back elbow Oh, what a strike to the back. Not a single person in this place is sitting down. We might just be watching one of the greatest matches we've seen in quite some time here. And set right into the corner. That's a tag. He's burying elbows in the midsection. The dead man powering up his opponent for snake eyes. Victor. Trapped in the corner. We got a strike fest going on. Being treated like a heavy bag. Best pure striker in the history of WWE. Oh, what an uppercut. So impactful. Bang. Vicious boot. Leg drop. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Finds a counter for the dead man. Whip back into the ring. Caught with that sharp elbow. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Now he's got him here, he's got him up. And Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. Looking to end it here. This could be it. Oh, come on, ref, get some control. Shut up, Byron. the mark. There he goes, right into the
the corner. Solely focused on punishing the leg. tonight none of these competitors were giving an inch in this one sometimes your plans work sometimes they don't their plan of attack just didn't have the desired effect or maybe you shouldn't be planning to win by using cheap tricks in the first place of WWE. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT champion, Seth. Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. We are about to see something good. the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger? Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, and what else is new?
This dude's got to come out firing. Rollins is not short on confidence. Superstar has worked hard to get where they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh, yeah, and just look into their eyes. They do not plan on stepping down anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match could be a declarative statement. And we'll see if he's ready for the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Well, whatever Seth wants to be called these days, Corey, one thing does not change. Rollins has always been a dangerous opponent. Seth's core, he is still as dangerous as ever, possibly even more so. Will this be enough? Kick out before the one count. Not time to expect victory yet. And he sends him into the corner. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Ouch. Arm sister, look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. An elbow will break that up. Elbow right to the nose. He knows how to avoid contact. This match grinded him down a little. That type of physicality earning Rollins the advantage. It's got to be hard taking on an opponent like Seth freaking Rollins, Corey. Always plotting, always scheming. How about always bending the rules to their limit? But I will concede, as talented a superstar as Rollins is, we've seen those tactics backfire on him. If you can, bide your time and wait for a lapse in Rollins' judgment. But you got to act fast. Boom, what impact! Rollins got surprised there. Fair play in that. Now that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. With a Falcon Arrow! Seth Rollins! Super kick! And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. Picture perfect drop kick. Reverses it. A uh, single leg takedown. Oh, uh, look at this. But Using his leg strength to escape. Oh, Rollins. Here comes Seth. Sling leg. Rollins in. And he goes for the pin. No, he gets the shoulder up. So, so close. That could have been it. Taking aim on the arm. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. Trying to put them away. Able to counter into a clothesline. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Rollins looking for it. Down low with the stop. It is all Rollins now. win tonight. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! What a big win for Seth Rollins. Well, Rollins certainly seems pleased with himself tonight. Rollins got what he wanted and what he deserved, the win.
arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Rock! Yeah, we always say you never know who's going to show up inside the NXT arena, but I don't think anyone expected this man. Think of all the members of The Rock's family that have competed in the Hallow Halls of NXT, from the Usos to Roman Reigns, now The Rock himself stepping foot inside the NXT ring. Bravado out the window, get ready for a brawl with Stone Cold. Clench your fists, grit your teeth, and get ready for the fight of your life. Here comes the rattlesnake. <laughs> Give me a heck yeah! You're gonna get stunned again, Saxton. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, Weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Amazing return to the ring at WrestleMania against Kevin Owens. Cole, how can we forget about multiple occasions where Byron Saxton received a stunner? Oh, gosh, do you have to remind me of that again? That stunner hurt! It was the greatest moment of my professional career. I agree. What's there to say about The Rock that hasn't been said already? There's a reason he's known as the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. He's the man who redefined what it means to be a superstar, and he continues to do so whenever he sets his foot in the square circle. Just keep that in mind in this one. But standing in his way is Steve Austin, one of the best brawlers we've ever seen. Austin doesn't waste time. He's not here to play games. He's here to stomp some mud holes and collect another big payday. Forget about theatrics or cheap intimidation tactics. The Texas Rattlesnake just wants to strike hard, strike fast, and be done with it. The long... Sleeper hold cinched in deep. And right side of the sleeper. Austin had... Uh-oh. Targets the gut to end the offense. Ooh. Stone Cold able to reverse that. Rock and Austin is a rivalry like no other in WWE. These men collided in three WrestleMania main events. So the intensity in the ring right now is at an all-time high. Byron, what is the key for the great one? The Rock needs to take the fight to Stone Cold Steve Austin. If The Rock can stay on the attack and use his strength to his advantage, it could take the venom right out of the Texas Rattlesnake. The Rock talks about laying the smack down. Heck, it's even on a t-shirt. There's no time like the present for the great one to show exactly what he's made of. Oh, across the top rope. He's absorbed some damage already. You can almost feel the intensity coming from The Rock on that attack. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, and a reversal. Tagged with a punch. Oh, that might have just broken something. Big forearm. Stone Cold Steve Austin and dropping bombs. The Rattlesnake has his pistons firing on all cylinders now. Austin Stone. The Great One is down. The Rock is down. This is starting to reach Kane and Abel levels of animosity, guys. Jeez, Cole, I hope it doesn't go that far. Yeah, I don't think I can stomach that. 
Taking this to the floor. way to get out of hold there. Shot on out of ringside and back to the mat. Stone Cold avoids the attack. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Victory, incredibly physical matchup, but this man has earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Oh, wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. Why is he doing this? And now into the steel steps. Come on. Miss two titles is here.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion and the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. She fought with every ounce of her being and the two titles she's carrying are proof of that. Proof of every ounce of fight she has in her being. Proof she's twice as good as everyone else. She has got to be ready for the unrelenting power of Bianca Belair. And don't forget about the dreaded hair whip. future right here and from Knoxville Tennessee Bianca Belair WWE Universe you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best just naturally better than everybody else even when only doing the bare minimum well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent Corey Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned All-American honors in track and field. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match. And she is now ready to compete. Match underway, and Flair is ready as ever. The Queen is always ready for action, Cole. It just comes with the territory. Charlotte was born and bred for this business and for greatness, and she reminds us all of that each and every time she steps foot in the ring. Never short of ego or athleticism. Hopefully, we'll see more of the latter tonight. Yeah, but she's got a tall task at hand, taking on the eager newcomer, Bianca Belair. She was a standout athlete in the Performance Center, but that's nothing new for Belair. She won't settle for being anything other than the best. With her size, speed, and agility, it's not going to be hard for her to reach that acclaim. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Places her right in the corner. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Paying it back with their own counter. Big boom. Knees up, knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Ooh. Taking it outside the ring now. By the looks of it, she's planning to renovate. Though I'm not sure how many walls she plans to take down here. Bianca Belair scoops up her opponent and making it look easy. Into the power slam. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, reversal catches Bianca. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. A match like this can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can add anything to the equation. Each competitor responds to the cover. this one to go. It's still early in Belair's career, and I don't think this loss is going to derail her trajectory in the WWE.